card gift hype. Gift card hype. I mean, it's what is going to be even more wow. hype, this These map gentlemen. coming in between Torn and... Is this Cathedra, right? Yeah, Cotangent okay. Theta, and okay. they just jump right into it, man. And yep. already, we see a Sheik versus Mega Man matchup. I've seen this one play out multiple, multiple times with Kame Mushi and some top players. I would say if you know the tricks with Mega Man, it is in his favor just ever so slightly or even. But uh, if you don't know these uh, footstool subs, I can see this going in Sheik's direction. Exactly. And the only thing, really, if Cassetta knows how to do the pretty much the saw blade into the footstool combos, this is the prime percent of which he wants Torn to set that up and finish it with that up tilt. But we got to see what's going to happen. Torn answering with that forward smash right now, backing up forward forward air into the bouncing fish. A lot of percent coming on through Torn. And going more into Torn, he's he's a player uh, coming out of Union City. He goes to a lot of the South Bay events, uh, as well as Pappies and whatnot. But his Sheik, as I like to see, and I've played many of friendlies with him, is that he has a lot of tech and he understands really the complex things for Sheik, but his fundamentals do start slacking at times. Sure, and since you know Torn, I know a lot about Cotangent Theta. He's been here, uh, Foundry regu uh, regular, since the very beginning. Oh my gosh, he went very low on that, very hype. So this man comes out to basically every Foundry event. He places around that like top 16 area all the time. He uh, has a lot of close sets, however, he does have some habits that tend to get punished, especially with his recovery, you'll see. He plays a very projectile-heavy Mega Man. Obviously, Mega Man being one of those uh, projectile-focused characters, he tends to stand, uh, stay in the mid-range and do less of the uh, Kamemushi combos and the uh, the close-up kills. He'll try to look for back airs pretty much at all times to finish off his stocks. Yeah, no, and that's what a lot of Mega Mans do. If they really don't feel confident in their tech skill, but as I say that, a really nice boost to the throw right there of the item coming in with that. Up smash, my goodness. This boy is flying around like it's melee out there. Ooh, Torn going for the uh, the forward tilt combination, but obviously Cotangent Theta sitting at 156. Uh, too high a percent for the combo, but raw bouncing fish, man. Going to seal it up. Yeah, Sushi. no, and that's actually the second time that Torn has caught him with that. Uh, he's noticed that Cathedra likes to just go above the stage just a tiny bit, peek his head out, trying to come up with those neutral layers. And Torn's just like, you know what, my man? You're not going to do that to me right now. Eat this bounce. This is exactly what I was telling you, where Cotangent's data, a lot of times I see him get punished in his recovery. His biggest habit is that he likes to do a lot of uppies and then save the jump, and then he'll jump afterwards. And uh, if you know that about him, you can punish him after that, just like Torn did. But uh, Cotangent Theta bringing it back already, and it has 14 quick percent on this Sheik right now. Yep, no, and I really like that setup from uh, Cathedra right there. He threw the saw blade and was just pretty much forcing Torn to pick an option. And Cathedra just read his jump, hit him with that up smash, get another up smash a little earlier. But now, uh, Cathedra's getting back to the neutral game a bit, trying to spread out, find these neutral layers, and again, coming in with these back airs. But Cotangent's Theta sitting at 90% already. Mega Man is a thick boy. That man is not going to die anytime soon unless if he gets hit at the very top of the screen by like an up air or something. But he's got quite his work cut out for him right now, being down about 70% right now. Yeah, no, but Torn is just playing this phenomenally well, staying away, hitting him with another bouncing fish. I don't. Oh, he did have his jump and the upbeat. That's how he always recovers. I'm telling you, man. He always saves the second jump, uses the upbeat, and then jumps afterwards. Something that catches a lot of people off guard if you're not used to playing a lot of Mega Man's. Um, Cotangent Theta, however, loves to do that as his uh, primary recovery option. Yep, and that was a great read coming from Torn right there. But he wasn't able to get, and as I say that, gets another read off the air dodge into the bouncing fish. Just throwing them out raw, man. Sashimi. I mean, it's. I'm okay. So, Sheiks, you know how they're usually technical and they throw the bouncing fish? Pretty calculated. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me tell you about a little thing called the Ratchet Sheik. And oh lot, my gosh. So, there's. Uh, Please tell me Rice's about the Sheik. Rice's Sheik is the most Ratchet Sheik I've Ugh. seen. He's like, he's like, why jab and why grab when I can bouncing fish literally everything? Hey, man, it's it's called a Yui, as uh, I don't <laughs> like to call it. It's unreactable. No matter what you do, you're going to get hit by it anyways. Oh my goodness. Very uh, reminiscent of Diddy Kong's side B. <laughs> and we see Cotangent Theta opting to go to Battlefield. The Blast Zone's here a little bit bigger. Uh, Mega Man already surviving to pass 150 on both stocks last game. See how long he lives here this time. 
You know, it's really gonna come down to Pathetic really just sealing out these stocks. He's having quite a bit of trouble doing so. And I understand it just because Sheik has so much frame to really keep Mega Man out. And so, really, what Mega Man wants to do is to just kind of spread out with his neutral layers and then try to find that back air. Torn has not allowed that to happen. Perfect shooting the pellets and then just getting in there and really disrupting what Pathetic wants. Yeah, and really unfortunate that Quotation Theta is like uh, perfect with the Kamimushi setups because when Torn is coming in with these forward airs that aren't on space, if you know how to do those Z-Drop Metal Blade setups, um, that actually is the moment where you do get to punish Sheik for free with those and get like a good 40-50% combos. Exactly. Torn punishing that ill space Ooh. back air right there. Wow, show Ryuken! No, unfortunately didn't get the sweet spot on it. So. Oh, speaking of sweet spot, that up smash off the air dodge read great the torn. Beautiful stuff. And now Cotangent Theta has the tallest of mountains to climb if he wants to win this matchup. Down a game and already down a stock, only 57% on cheek. How are you going to bring this one back? No, I mean, one thing that really Kathana's gonna have to do is, like I said, try to get the spacing, but when you do get those grabs, try to confirm off of it, because I felt right there, he actually could have got that back air, but unfortunately did not jump up high enough. Really, Torn is just going at that perfect, like, 45 degree angle over the top of these lemons and hitting him with a forward air every time. It's been pretty much a free approach for Torn this entire matchup. We haven't seen Kotan Theta be able to adapt mid-set uh, mid right now. No, right now it's just looking like a feta. Like, he's not used to having someone so in his face. And that's really all it's looking like, because when I played him in the past, uh, he understands that when he's able to space out, keep up with the song. Oh my goodness, and as I say that, coming in right in the DMs, coming in, <laughs> sliding in there. We got to do it sometimes. I like Torn's aggression, just wants to get this match over with right now. Usually you see a lot of players who are uh, sitting at a full stock, high percent, kind of tend to sit back, but not Cotangent Theta. Trying to utilize this rage with a forward tilt to up air combination, but does not quite get it. And there we go, the sliding up smash. Brilliant stuff from Cotangent Theta right there. Yeah, yet another glide toss coming from Cotangent And that is a setup that he's done quite a bit. Uh, Got to really look out for Torn noticing it and possibly punishing it later on. Again, Torn just trying to come in with all these raw bouncing fishes. Unfortunately, not connecting on that last one, but it's looking like, like you were saying, because that is not really adapting. He's adapted to those raw bouncing fishes so far, so it's really going to be interesting to see how Torn seals off this stock now that his bouncing fishes aren't doing the justice for him. Yeah, and actually, Torn's starting to get a little bit thirsty. Cotangent Theta is. Oh, as I say it, though, commentator's curse gets hit by an up smash. I saw what Cotangent Theta was trying to do. He was trying to hide underneath the platforms and force him to approach, uh, basically forward on and eat a bunch of pellets if he wanted to get the approach in. However, it was a little bit too